Uh, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Um, I, I'm starting recording in the middle of setup. Because, uh, when you load it in here, Amori's in black space. Um, which I guess makes sense, considering we are. All right, um... I had dinner with my wife. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's Miwo. Stranger. These rooms are full of broken things, but at least in here I can see who you really are. Who is that? The world that you created above this one. Did you make it to protect this place or hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. Your repressed memories become stronger than your regular ones. There's Humphrey. There's some nothings. God, this perspective's really screwing with me. Now this is reminiscent of Off. What in God? That is so gnarly, but also cool. Off, um, another game that has a incomprehensible third act, assuming that you treat it like the real world. Um, hi. It's a crow. <laughs> is this built in RPG Maker? Like, is this a stock copy of RPG Maker? Because that's encouraging. Oh, it's... Body parts and knife wounds. Fingers have been cut off. Hands reaching to another. So much pain. So much pain. So much pain. So much pain. It's, okay, I don't even want to get into that yet, but this has little antlers reminiscent of the one deer-shaped something that we fought on the train. All right. It, it looks like Mari. But it's the nothing. It's the something. I can't interact with it. I just walk over her corpse. Spider. What do I do here? So much pain. So much pain. I get it, you're in pain. Can one of you help me? I'm very lost. Oh, boy. Alright, let's try following this path. Well. It's Omori, but he's melting. All right, and here's the weird, like, pale face. Okay, following the path. Oh, it's socks. And the little nothings in the background. Okay. Following the path. Okay, so there's the cut up stuff. There's the hands reaching for one another. Path becomes blue here. 
Oh, a keyhole. Or no, a key. And a, uh, a shitty drawing. Jesus, did I make that? <laughs> it's you. And it sends us back here. Of course it does. Because that's what they always did in white space. Okay. So I'm guessing we're going to be looking for some keys. Oh, God, the colors. Another shitty drawing of Omori. You are far away from home. Are there any artists in the gang? Hello, stranger. Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth you've locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to for the both of us. So is that Sunny talking to Omori? Are we now Sunny in Omori's clothes? And that's the real Omori talking to us? Or is that someone else? Like, could that be Basil? Far away from home. So much pain, you are far away from home. I just remembered, um, I actually have, uh, clips from one of the, those were Matryoshka dolls, shaped like me. I have one of the old episodes playing next to me here. Um, I was reminded of the fact that, uh, oh no, it's nothing. Reminded because of, you know, it's happening next to me. Are you lost? Not to worry. Red hands know the way back. Um, in the real world, Basil's book of photos is missing any photos of Mari. Any photo that has Mari in it has been ripped out. And we assumed Aubrey had them. But I, you know, astute viewers might have thought maybe that it happened before Aubrey even got her hands on it. Randall Monroe? You're looking for someone or something? This looks like Texas. Ooh, more. So presumably those are the three friends. Someone's done this before. Was it you? Was it me? Was it the flower boy? Take me home, mouse. I'm not entirely sure if those are mice, but considering that I was introduced to them right before... Considering I was introduced to them right before... Um, or right after Miwo, I assumed that it was a cat and mice. And that uh, Miwo was keeping the mice away. Your sketchbook. Okay. The Red Hands. Miwo being stabbed. Those are... That's Omori shorts, socks, tank top, and a bra, I guess. Um, I don't even know what's happening in the other photo. Mari standing over... Omori? Or no, it's something... Slash nothing slash depression sprite with a weird the smile over Sunny. Um, and then some snakes. Birthday cake that's bleeding eyes. Cool. Uh, the keys. Miwo giving stuff to Omori, and there's a nothing behind him. Or something. The steak. Basil and Omori. Or Sunny. But they've been scratched out, and then there's a something there. And then a stronger something, and they've been scratched out more. Fascinating. What the fuck, man? Oh. <sighs>
Whose grave is this? Can't tell. Can't ask. Can't see. Um, what appears to have been an, a woman who was hung. It lies ivy, poignant, fleeting. This was the effervescence of life. Rochelle, death by caffeine at age 23. Andrew Vance, sleepy Kuya, town drunk, died fighting actual mole to 1901. Ocean's dream, died as he lived, covered in sheet. What is this? Melon kid walked into a rake. Omo cat. Oh, this must be a dev room. Blue moon, everyone's favorite senpai. Pride coon hasn't found her pen. Kairu, life jam had no effect. Mugiri, dark in here, but I kind of like it. Kaichi, don't open till 20xx. No, oh, like Mecha Man. Arkea, died swimming with the fishes. Kim Vance, aka La Aguacat. Illegal alcohol <laughs> avocado smuggling accident. TDS, be realistic about these things. The moon. Tino, no buried treasure here. Pedro, destroyed. Uh, Whitney White, aka Yin, demon god of revenge. Minced. Wilted from lack of water. Rai died in a fight, but you should see the other guy. EMS, food offerings required. Oh, I got a little achievement. Okay, so that must be a dead uh, dev room. Or perhaps developer and also. Let's head back a little bit. Developer and also... So yeah, this looks like a woman who's been hung. Possibly Mari, but... I mean, who knows? I'm starting to put it together, I think. But it could also be Kickstarter backers, since this game was on Kickstarter yonks ago. Okay, if we see another... Huh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so fucking creepy, man. Bathtub? Oh. Stranger? Oh, God. It's a dog skeleton. That's kind of gnarly. Kind of cool. When you hit the truth, you seal the part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful? So who is saying that? It looks more like Basil Sprite than Omori or Sunny. This is starting to be very reminiscent. It's clever that, like, you interact with the little mice, like, so long ago in white space, and then stop messing around with them and learn, like, oh, is it this white space or is it this one? If it's this one, I gotta kill myself. If not, find the door. Okay. Uh, the hands. Um, I recently played Death Stranding, and boy, are liar Boyer hands a prominent image in that game oh man this is real creepy yo liar well if I know something about this stage of a horror game it's that the monsters aren't lying to you why would they they're monsters liar 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 so Omori lied about something Liar, liar, liar. Little stripey shorts on fire. Hey there. Ten liars. Sunny, I love you. Says something. <laughs> it's always facing the camera. It's looking at you, the player. Sunny, I love you. 
not necessarily looking at Sunny, but definitely looking at the player. But yeah, the way that um, the mice would originally loop you back into black space. And now they don't do that. Well, originally they would loop you into white space, and now they loop you back into black space. It's clever. I like it. Um, Miwo Butler. Miwo has been very, very bad. Got a key. Miwo stares at you. She does not know what's happening. No, I don't want to cut open Miwo. You're going to make me do it, aren't you? And that's the butler cat that we saw in the in the drawing. She tilts her head out of curiosity. I don't, but I think it's the only thing in here. She wants to go now. No. Let's see if I can't back out. Oh, it just dumps you back here, huh? Struggles to break free. Eyes are filled with desperation. I'm sorry, Miwo. Tries to scream, but there is no sound. No, I don't. Ugh, so I hate violence to animals, particularly to cats. I'm a uh, well-known cat owner in real life. I've owned cats under the double digits. If it would have... <sighs> you cut open me well. Waiting for something to happen. If you want a way out, there's always one. But. Yep. Alright. If, if nothing else, I have a save there. Oh, and we have a TV now. Yeah, that picture with Miwo Butler. That's partially what I was thinking of. Can I enter doors from the way you enter doors from. That one sucks, man. Normally I wouldn't get so creeped out by something in a video game. Flower crown. Like shit, man. You asked me to shoot like a dozen people. In a video game? Oh, yeah, wow. I'm like, sure, yeah. I'll shoot that many people. It's a video game, what do I care? Shoot me to ask like a bunch of innocents? Shoot me to ask. Ask me to shoot a bunch of innocents? Like, does it serve the game story? You know, is it a Spec Ups the Line deal? Sure! We'll get an interesting character arc out of it. Mord, you came back for me. There's no way this is him. Is that my flower crown? I'm glad you found it. Oh my god, it is him. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Basil's joined the party. Growing watermelons has been fun, but I miss my flowers back at home. How are they doing? Did you take care while I was gone? No. I did not know that you could, and I missed the first opportunity to. Watermelons are delicious. We used to come up and eat them all the time at the beach. I can still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. Summer vacation was the best, wasn't it? It's uh, getting darker, I notice. Anyway, my point was, if you asked me to kill a cat in a video game, I'm like, no, nah, man. Well, to an extent. All right. Okay. Omori and Sunny must have conflicted feelings to Basil if he, like, is involved with troubles. Like... 
Maybe I have to kill all the watermelons. Like, you would just... It... <gasps> Okay. I kind of figured that wasn't the real him. I mean, of course, the real him is not in the dream world, but... Right, there you go. Take me back. But yeah, if Basil is related to the Troubles, or if he's not, but Sonny has blamed him, then, like, any time Omori sees him, he just must be, like, seething with it. Sonny appears to have a little more nuance and, you know, understanding about it. Maybe not like a lot, but you know, enough. Um, a photograph that got consumed by black space and scribbles. Gutted fish. Our friends who have suffered because of us. Is that Basil Sprite? Can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Sonny? Is that Basil? I assume that... Like, we were Sonny talking to Omori. Or vice versa, maybe. But it would make sense if that was... Like, if that had become Basil. Also, this becomes like a impassable space. You cannot pass it. Yes, Alfred, that's what impassable means, you dunce. Is that the Irish flag there? What in God's name are you, you awful creature? Blue girl, don't talk to me. La Blue Girl? Satellite TV. Alright. You just stay over there, huh? I feel like I've passed this Irish pool ring and these weird kaleidoscope jellyfishmen a couple of times. They fenced off the water, you know, in case of sharks, I guess. Okay, I must be looping now. Oh, Jesus. It's been 20 minutes, but it feels like hours. I mean, technically speaking, I have kind of been in black space for a couple of, you know, well, not a couple, well, like two hours at most, maybe. But yeah, like two hours while I was eating dinner. The way that, like... By the way, I want to mention this. The way that the first thing you hear in this game, or read, rather, is Welcome to White Space. And the fact that the solution to the puzzle, Welcome to Black Space, is staring you right in the face the whole time for so long. Oh, there's one. I'm trying to search it in a grid, but when you get into infinities, it becomes a little complicated. Oh boy. Right, look out for another Irish beach ball, everyone. There it is. Means we can safely head north. Okay. Yeah, normally when one forms a search party, you look for the missing individual via a grid. To quote one internet alumni. If you fell out of a plane into a forest, they would search for you using a grid. And they wouldn't find you because they never do. 
But yeah, um... You're dealing with an infinite beach. Becomes something of a problem. Oh! Well. Now I just feel rather silly. Are the photos I'm, I'm scratching out the things that uh, Basil scratched out while... Oh, it loops this way, too. Okay, what are you? It's a hand. It's not a mouse. It's a red hand. Well, that's nice and ominous. Let's go in through this door. Maybe I only get the good ending if I get all the keys. I haven't really dug too deep into what I need. Just... Oh, God, these cut Basil. Thank goodness you're here. Thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Phew. Feels so much better. That's here. Yep. This can't be the real him. I mean, again, nothing is the real him. You know, I think spiders are misunderstood. They look scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. In pension, they're also one of my biggest helpers when gardening. Since they eat a lot of the pests, I can hurt my plants. The balance of nature. Remember a while back, you told me a big spire fell on your shoulders as you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know the spider must have looked so scary to you, but I promise you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course. Ha ha. So many spiders here all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello. Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend Basil. Oh god, they are, look. They're in his hair. Um, hello, weird Hylix snake. Which is to say it looks like the art from the game, Hylix. Ack, they're biting me. I'm probably just scaring them. Are they spiders? It's okay, I'm not here to hurt you. You know, I also quite like spiders. Um, a few of my friends uh, are arachnophobes um, to varying de So many of them, I can't get them off. Uh, I'm worried. I'm worried. Please. Help. Big dead spider. It has passed from sadness. It also has long, luscious black locks. Oh, good. The Bloody Footprints. Here to guide me on my way to home to the key. Right. Now to find a little red hand mouse. So that's what that thing meant as well. The red hand knows where to go. Okay. I thought I couldn't say it for a second there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else out here. Ooh, far out. Which is to say that the... Hmm, great. Get used to them rain effects again. Not a lot of rain in this game. It's been the one world. It's the other one. And then that was kind of it. And then this. Three rains. <sighs> that one was straightforward. I miss you, Sonny. You were always someone I could depend on to listen. Yeah, that must be Basil then. My problems, my hopes, my dreams, you knew them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. Because, yeah, Basil always talked about how good of a lesser Sonny or Omori is. That's what it always says in the photo book. Is the reason that you only have so much time to look at Basil's photo book because it'll give away the game if you read too much into it? Pizzazz! Can't fool me, Red Hand. So that mean, does that mean that all strangers are Basil? Oh. Uh, hi. Well, 
Well, that's... Won't someone talk to me? Oh, it keeps getting worse. Talk to me, damn you. Okay, we're back to normal. I see the key, but I do not wish to grab it. Oh, God. Hero just stays like he is. Cal, run. Oh, battle keeps getting creepier. Had like tentacles on his face. Spider legs, maybe. Oh, yeah, someone told me that you can sprint, and I realized that I'd beaten the entire game without sprinting. Kells is normal. But yes, Aubrey. Yeah, you just hold shift and you can sprint. I had never used it, and this is the first time because I was like, man, if only there was a way to augment my mobility to, you know, somehow move faster and cover more ground. And I was like, oh, yeah. There's a lot of these. This will still be the last episode, no matter how long this goes. We are on the docks. Took a nice nap. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I noticed the um, chupacabra in the sky went away. You don't have to, Ch Jersey Devil. Uh, there's the hopscotch. Oh boy. Oh, it's the treehouse. Omori, is it really you? How'd you find me? Kale, Aubrey, and Hero here, too. I've missed you all so much. Oh, the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home. I'm sure we won't. Game. Toast. Cat. Toy. Book. Toy. 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 Oh, these are these are corrupted memories. TV. So can Omori just not remember anymore? Cards, cookies, more cookies, cookies. Like is black space? Because white space is Omori's safe place, more or less. And then headspace is where he goes when he wants to have fun, but he always comes back to headspace or to white space whenever he feels like he can't, you know, do it anymore. The real world or headspace. Elevator, I wonder where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. Um Fast Forest is the closest place to home. But somehow I feel like my choice won't matter. Um. So is black space repressed memories? As actually while we're in here, can I share something with you, Omori? Hmm. Oh God. Hold on, Omori. I think I'm stuck. Can you help me out? Yep, that's a nightmare. Omori. All right, great. As anticipated. I see you, creepy red picnic basket. Or creepy red door. I'll get to you later. And 
Does that mean that everyone has sprinting sprites? Oh god. Appears to be a woman hanging by her own hair. Back then, I wanted to save what was left. But even after everything, you left me, Sonny. I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I feel my heart hurting. I don't want to cover my face and hide. There are so many things I want to say to you, but the words won't come out. I just waited for so long for you to come back, Sonny. But you never did. He did eventually. Empty fishbowl. Uh-huh. This is, um... It's not quite a swerve, but it's far more sad than horrific, you know? It's far less scary now, but it has become a lot more emotional. Oh, I can't spritz in here. It's the tree stump. Where the neighbors live. Omori, psst, I'm right here. Ta da! Surprised to see me. Been hiding in the stump since I got here. Not the best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving at least. I need to come to save me. Are these all Basil? Like, I assume that can't be the real one. No. You know, the real headspace Basil, at least. Place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. But what if these are all the real one? And Basil is just having torment after torment, and it's... Hey, Omori, you're acting kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? Sure, I guess. Oh, how romantic. Um, what if this is, like... Basil gets tortured. In black space. Omori, I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. Basil is killed in some gruesome fashion, but at least we have each other. <laughs> Actually, there's something that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Anyway, part of the cycle. Basil is trapped in black space. Basil is killed and murdered and mutilated a whole bunch of times. Basil is his memory wiped and waste back up. See, earlier he was beheaded, and we had the head to talk to. And now we have just the body. I love chibi and big-headed art styles. I'm going to assume I don't get very much out of the raft. Anyway, I love seeing chibi art styles. Do you want to be asleep or awake? There are only two options. Well, there's always another, but... It's the concept of the last choice again. Hello, trio of hands. So how many more doors do we have? We have these two. And then the red one. And maybe some other ones. But I've been trying to get all of these doors. I don't want to miss them. I feel... Jeez, you are a terror, aren't you? This one's pretty straightforward. I wonder if these all go sequentially. What is this? Oh, it's a mirror. <laughs> like, I wonder if this will always be the second to last or so one. Ooh, they're really starting to pile up. Juka Mori. That one has blood on its face. I wonder if you can get out of here by killing all the mirrors. Ah, well. Womp womp. Oh boy. It's the phone.
This one's pretty straightforward. Hello, dear. One moment. Hey, everyone. Here's my cat. And, ASMR. and also my wife. You kiss. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Gosh, what you do? Oh, God. All the cats are coming into my room. All right. Bosh is going to stay with you. Oh, no. Hey, sorry about that. I mean, I'm not that sorry. Um, the router's in my office. My wife had to come in and check the router because she's trying to watch something on streaming. Couldn't answer the phone. Okay, so let's see here. Do they never end? They have to end at some point. Mari is here. Just her head hanging as well. Hmm. Swimming in a river of blood. Aubrey is here. Kel. Basil. Getting some good use out of the Basil head sprite. Hero. Background of Mari. All right. Got to use it from the right side. I'm not sure if I like that detail or not. I suppose it makes sense, which is the reason one would include it. It's... Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, man. Omori, you're here. I'm so relieved. I tried finding my way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. Swing set. Slide. Whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I'd look at our happy memories. Help me keep my hopes up feel there are some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero? I hope you all don't worry about me. I can't wait to see everyone again. I'm very curious about that cat-shaped hole, by the way. I've never gotten an answer on it. Hero, is that you? Oh, Mori, look, it's Hero. You didn't tell me everyone was already here. I don't like the way, I don't like the way that this is going. Mm-hmm. Yep. But Omori can't... Oh, he can. Cal, Aubrey, it's so good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? Wait, what are you guys doing? Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot. Oh, that's the face! you think they get tired after a while, but they're both full, so full of energy. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hi, Omari. We're hoping you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? I'm starting the game. Those are all the... Those are all the, some of the very first lines they say. But the face, the face is, oh, and that's the, the big yellow cat. The big observer of all of space and time. But yeah, those are the faces that you see in the little mirror Easter egg. I bet that Easter egg must have something that makes it make logical sense. <laughs> they still squeak. Like... Can't go back any further, huh? Like, Omori can't physically bring up 
the image of him and his friends that many times over and over. He just gets tired. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's try to fix this at the bottom of the screen. And if we see that again, we'll know that we've looped. Y yep. Okay, let's try to pay attention to that. Watch the bottom corner. Yep. Okay. I think we've made it through all of these. Yep. Okay. Last door. So we can go through this a lot earlier as well. I wonder what the significance is. Statue of a religious figure. Feels as if it's judging you. What is this area? A hard frozen steak. Would you like some? Is it going to do the bop? Nope. No bop 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 boom boom. We have no microwave to heat it up. Something tells me that this is the point of no return, considering that they put a save right here. It's the church. Pitter patter, pitter patter. The stairs and Basil with the weird oily tentacles. And the stranger? Sonny, truth is here. You've been running from this for so long. But this time we can face it together. So that's reunited Basil. I don't think that Sonny and Omori are going to reunite Sonny. I didn't end up like this. Sonny. I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? You're my best friend. Yes. No hesitation. I'm sure whatever he did, he can be forgiven. No questions asked. All right, maybe some questions asked. There's something out there. It's calling me. And it's calling you too. No light bulb. No nothing. Let's go together. The no, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Boy, remember when the creepiest thing in this game was that we got swallowed by a whimsical cartoon whale? Finger. Another one. Are we going to get to one that says thumb? 
finger. And that's four. You've only got so many of those per hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's surrounded by more hands. I'm... I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? My best friend? Please, it hurts. Tell him to let go. Wait, what are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please tell them to stop. Help me. The red hands. Have we transitioned into red space? Is that a thing? He sits down. It's like a throne. That imagery is really cool, I will say. <gasps> We're sunny again. Of course we are. Kel's here. Where's Hero? Oh god, I hope he's okay. I might cry if he's not okay. Don't you do this to me, Omo Cat. I will cry right now. Dirty dishes. Empty fridge. I will cry live on stream. Cardboard boxes. Smoke break? Nope. Shoe rack? Picnic? Basket? No for mommy. Brush your teeth every day. Yeah? Bathtub? Turlet? Where is Hero? Wardrobe. Pretty much everything is as it was. Oh, the light's on in here. Now, I just realized we're seeing full color Sunny, but colorless Mari. You know, waltzes were always my favorite. That's why I chose the song for our last recital. Joyce hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano, all that practicing, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with someone think something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry. I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play that last recital. That's why Sonny has the little boy suit on. He's supposed to be looking all cute and good for his recital. But Mari died before it. And then I guess he never changed his clothes. Do you want to play it with me now? Oh! 
Sorry, I showed everyone my neck beard. I'm very relieved that this fictional character is unharmed. You scared me there, Sonny. Sorry for bursting in like that. I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me too. I still think about her every day. Yeah, they were they had a little they had little crushes. I'd I don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even with it was without her. If it was without her. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. Can I get the pillow for it with Kel? Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom first. Sometimes you just gotta check, you know? Oh man, if Mari killed herself, or something more insidious even. Okay. So I'll snoring away. Okay. One day left. Sorry, but there's something making noise outside my window. Oh, they clean up the pillow fort. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Hope you don't mind. Fuck yeah. Yeah, someone told me that um, one way to complete the game is just stay inside and do your chores all day, and then you never actually go outside. You never see Kel or Hero or Basil or Aubrey, and that part of the game doesn't happen, and that is one valid route to play the game, and it's one of the big like binary splits in the game. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kel's already on his second plate. Ah! New message. Hi, Sonny. It's Mommy. Tomorrow's the big day. Moves will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Come outside when you're ready. That's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzz. God. They have such a happy family. I can see how a, like, traumatic suicide would kind of rock them. Rise and shine. Top of the morning, Sonny. You better start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. That's just like, that's so like you. You have to make brother-in-law, dog. Another plate of bacon coming in hot. Oh boy, all for me. Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> Who could that be? I'll go get the door. My money is on Aubrey. We, there is no way. It's you. Ew. What is all this? What the heck, Kel? <laughs> There is no way that the party... Like, that's the party, you know? All four of them together. This is a squeaky clean. Empty sink. Microwave. Face plate of brick. Oh, come on. Steal it. What's going on over there? Dang it, Cal. Now I have eggs all over me. <laughs> Sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here anyway? I was just about to get to that. It's just, it's Aubrey. She's not answering her door or her back door or the rocks we've been throwing through her window. She was really upset yesterday, and I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Robbie's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've known each other since we were kids. We went there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true she's changed, but it doesn't change the fact I still care about her. If she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me, too. What kind of person she is. I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. Dude, Hero is holding it together, man. We should all aspire to be the, the friend who can hold it together. Well, me and Sunny can tag along. Can be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Oh, yeah, use your cool charm powers. Hey, Kim, thanks for asking us for help. Your good friend. Huh? Uh, sure, whatever. 
<sighs> Head out first. We'll meet you there. Okay, see ya. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, let's be honest here. Hands. Cool glasses. A slinky. Kel's pet rock. Oh, he has it. Oh, and it's like a Tamagotchi. I'll leave that on you, bud. You need a charm. You can get Sticky Hand. Yeah. Love Sticky Hand. Yo, Sonny. Thanks for letting us sleep over last night. And for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five. Come on. Yes. You already know what that answer is going to be. Down low. Quentin, if you're watching, I can't imagine Cal giving a high five anything like but yours. Like, it has to be that kind of high five where it, like, takes the first few layers of skin off your palm. You know? The high five where you feel at risk of degloving. Right. Now, where is Aubrey's house? Oh, man, we've hit an hour. I'm going to pause it while I look for her house. All right. It wasn't that long of a pause. Don't look so down. Everyone has bad days. Are we always bounces back? I isn't feeling well. How could this be? Must be the work of something more sinister. Evil mastermind. Track him down. We must track him down at once. Are we supposed to watch the new dance I made up today? You think she's avoiding me on purpose? Hello? Is anyone there? Have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out of her house at all. Hello, Aubrey? Anyone home? Hello? Oh, it was open. Let's barge in. Oh, good. <sighs> Get the eerie nostalgia. I'm getting an eerie nostalgic feeling. Bathroom. I'll be honest. I, I would not want to go into the bathroom alone. Hey, Aubrey, how you feeling? heck are you guys doing here get the hell out of my room sorry for intruding it'll only take a bit we wanted to make sure you're okay i'm fine i've been hearing some things i just want to hear it from you can you tell me what happened yesterday nothing happened you pushed basil into the lake you know we can't swim i didn't mean to do that i just i meant to push him away he could have drowned I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you it's none of your business. Oh, oh, she has a, a, a Captain Space Boy poster. <laughs> but it is my business. You, you and Basil and everyone here, you were my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. It's just your typical Cal and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. Done it so many times before. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mari. Okay, so she did take them. They're all I have left of her. Did she start to forget what Mari looked like? Like how the people in Headspace started to forget Basil? But you know it's still not right of you to take him from Basil. These photos belong to him. It's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. It's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? 
He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sunny. Haha. <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing. <laughs> it's kind of gross. She has a bun! Look! I just noticed that. She has a little rabbit. Aww. I hope he's being well taken care of, even despite the shit she lives in. Aubrey, let's put Maury's photos back in the photo album. All these photos belong together in one place. <sighs> Crap. Am I going to have to cut this into two parts? Come on, guys. We should do this together. Okay, you know what? I'll I'll put this up and then I'll upload the other one in an hour or so. There's no way you could possibly finish this whole thing in between that. I'll just call it finale part one. Um, but it'll go up the same day, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh fuck. See here's the thing. I have a little gap in the schedule. God damn it. I'll put them both up on the same day. I'll see you guys in like an hour. <laughs>